Hi, I'm Chris Converse for Creative Pro, and I wanted to give you a sneak peek at working with motion graphic templates in Premiere Pro. This will be part of my intro to video session that I'll be presenting at Creative Pro Week in Phoenix in June. And in my session, I'm going to introduce you to Premiere Pro from the perspective of other applications you may already know, like InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop. So here I have my project set up. If I scrub the timeline here, we can see I have one video clip that fades into another. So we're making a small advertisement for a coffee shop. And I want to advertise the fact that this coffee shop is now offering home deliveries. To create a motion graphic template, basically I want some motion graphics here, which the templates will help me with. And I want to bring on some type and maybe some graphical elements, but I don't want to be worried about creating the animation, making keyframes, doing all that stuff. And that's where motion graphic templates come in. So over here in the essential graphics panel, which you can get to under the window menu, I can see a bunch of motion graphic templates showing up here. You can get these from Adobe Stock. There are a bunch that are shipping with Premiere Pro, and you can even purchase these from a bunch of different online stock video houses. So what I'm going to do is come up here and I'm going to search for the word modern. The one I want to use is modern title with border. Let's click and drag, and I'll drop this right into my timeline. So this behaves like a piece of footage. Now what's really cool about these is if I bring the timeline, my playhead rather, to the beginning of this clip, if I drag this in really slow or use my arrow keys, you can see that the graphic is building up. We have the border coming into play. We have the background for top text and then a white background. We've got our main title. And then after this gray area, the animation has finished animating in. This is the intro area. Then as long as the clip is on the timeline, nothing will change until we get to the ending, this sort of light pink area. Then the animation will play out. So this is the outro and the intro. And this uses something called responsive time which means I can select this entire clip and I can make this longer and the middle will always stretch. This allows me to make this graphic stay on the screen as long or as little as I need. So I'm gonna come in here and just drag this down a little bit, maybe to about right here. Now with this selected, I'll go back to the Essential Graphics panel and instead of the Browse tab, we'll click the Edit tab. With this selected, I can come in here and customize this. So first let me come in here and I'll just double click on the text up here and let's change this to say introducing. And then I'll come down here into this area and type in home delivery. Now I do need a little bit more room here and I don't want to have the lower text. So I'm going to come over here and turn off the lower text. I'm also going to turn off the bottom border mask. So that will complete over here. And then I'll come down and change some of the padding settings so that we have enough room for the border. So I'll select the border. I'll come down here and unhook the scale and come in here and change the percentage of the width just to make this a little bit wider. Now, as I mentioned, all of these changes have no effect on the animation. If I come back here and play this, we can see the animation comes in and out. So now let's come in here and play this. Let the space bar to stop. So maybe I want the animation to play out a little faster. I can move this back so that right after the dissolve, the animation will play out a little bit sooner. So that was a quick look at motion graphic templates inside of Premiere Pro. Now before I go, I do want to mention that I'll be doing some sessions on 3D. One will be a joint session with the amazing Lisa Carney. Her and I have been developing a workflow for creating virtual product photographs for one of her clients using Illustrator, Blender, and Photoshop. There's going to be so many great things happening at Creative Pro Week, and I can't wait to see you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.